mind if they set a rut like you out here? I was on vacation, you know, a real walk in the park, and I just happened to step on some dog shit on the way. <laughs> Two years out, and you're already joining the other side. I didn't want to believe it, but at the same time, I suspected this time would happen the entire time. Those bastards turned their backs on me. I discovered vital intel, and they neglected everything. I was on the cusp of discovering Palestinian refugees, and they fucked me over. The cold-hearted pricks. You ain't fooling anybody. You know as well as I do. You set yourself up to be MIA. How do you think you have all the same equipment we do, huh? And who put that Ferrari in your garage? Taxpayers' dollars! <laughs> you are a terrible shot. Who gives a shit? I tried to make it back to the U.S., but just as I suspected, my passport was deemed null and void. Luckily, I had a little bit of bullion stashed up. I took my stash and made my way back here. So that's what you figured, huh? Join the other side. We'll go off and join your rebels. Fucking crusader. Crusader? At least I live for something. But what about you? You don't have a family to protect. You don't have a father that put you into military servitude. You don't have the political type that just wants to go out and save people. What are you? What about those refugees in Rwanda, huh? Please, that was part of the mission. You were just following orders. Being a pawn in a larger game. Now you're still emotionally disconnected from everything. No, I think you're a liar. Think you're just trying to cover up your own tracks. A life riddled with upsets and disappointments. And you're not ready to admit that yet. But I can think of your fair share of fuck-ups. And there's no way you can cover it up this time. I'm taking more responsibility this time around. You know, the, the men and women out here every day, who, who do you think takes care of them, huh? Certainly not the United Nations. And now, since some bigwig tells you I dropped off the map, you think I've lost every piece of my being? I know what your aim is, and you must be pretty near sighted if you think- I'd rather drag you kicking and screaming than do this the hard way. Why? Come with me. God damn it, man! You always have to be the one with the biggest balls. You know I do. I knew you were playing with me. I let my guard down for two seconds, and this is the thanks I get first time ever. It's too easy for you to dodge these mind games. And the existential questions. The brainwashing worked well for you, but I've got one question. Shoot! If we died right here, in this single moment, how would those last few moments feel as you fell on the cold concrete? It would be a lifetime worth of regret. A life entirely governed by perfection. The moment I come over to your side is the moment my life ends. Everything I worked for, every person I've worked with, and every place that I've been to would erase in an instant. My history would be wiped from existence. I would just be nothing more than a phantom. That's your problem. You're thinking as though your life is about to end. But that's the difference. It would be your genesis, the beginning. The fate of the United Nations and potentially the world is resting on my shoulders. And here I am about to gamble it on a friend turned foe. All my life, I've guessed, I've been taking the advice of others blindly without question. And here I'm in a position that has turned around in a blink of an eye. And the entire conclusion is just one big gamble. You can't fool now. All or nothing? All or nothing. <laughs>